Hello everyone, this is a WoW Dragonflight Mage Tower Guide for Destruction Warlock. Here's my talent tree, you can also find it in description. In this challenge, your gear is scaled down to 120 item level, but as you will see, it's not a big deal. Here's the list of consumables you can use to make this fight more comfortable. The Mage Tower Challenge Encounter for Destruction Warlock is Fell Totem's Fall. The scenario is designed to test not only your ability to deal damage, but also your mastery of all aspects of your specialization, including survivability and utility usage. If you need help with Mage Tower and don't want to spend a lot of time mastering challenge, check out conquestcapped.com. It's a trusted boosting service rated with 5 stars at Trustpilot. They can complete any Mage Tower, any class and any specialization without ban and account sharing within 15 minutes. Check out link in description. During this fight you will face two bosses, Tugger Blood Totem and Yormog the Behemoth. Killing one of them will apply Enrage to the remaining boss granting 150% additional damage. Best way to win this challenge is to kill Tugger Blood Totem first, and then deal with the Enraged Worm, since he's much less dangerous. Let's talk about mechanics you need to deal with in this challenge. Tugger Blood Totem will use these abilities. Earthquake. Drops rocks in three spots around the area. Jormog will tunnel under the ground and do laps around the room, occasionally surfacing. When he surfaces, he will then charge at you shortly after. You want Jormog to charge into as many of the rocks that fell during Earthquake as you can. It's the most important spell in this fight. If you are hit by Jormog during his charge, you will be stunned for 5 seconds and most likely die. Fell Burst, an interruptible cast that deals a heavy fell damage on completion. He casts this every 15 seconds, and you need to kick it or use crowd control to stop the cast if your interrupt is on cooldown. Fell Surge Totem. Totems will spawn periodically throughout the fight, which will stun you for 5 seconds if they complete their cast. They have only one health, and will instantly die from any targeted damage. Letting one cast go through is generally a wipe. Bile Spitter Egg. An add that will spawn following Earthquake. If Bile Spitter Egg is not killed before its cast finishes, it will spawn a Bile Spitter. The amount of these will gradually increase as long as Tugger is alive. Bile Spitter, a stationary add that will spawn swirlies under the player which will do minor damage. Fell Fissure, an X-shaped stone formation that will emerge after a short delay, needs to be avoided. Jormog the Behemoth is affected by 9 stacks of Fell Hardened Scales, which increase his damage resistance. Every rock he hits during the Earthquake will reduce its stack by one. He will use following spells. Sonic Scream, periodic cast which deals moderate damage and interrupts the player. This can be avoided by crowd control or stopping your casts. He will also use Fell Infused Saliva, instant attack which deals minor fire damage. When Jormog's stacks of Fell Hardened Scale are removed completely, you can finish Tugger Blood Totem and enter Phase 2, facing Enraged Worm. Pop up your cooldowns and drums and burn Jormog. It's very important to interrupt every cast of Sonic Scream, as it hits very hard. It's a pretty difficult challenge, and the cost of your mistake is raising every minute. Stay focused, interrupt all the important spells, and claim your new appearance. And if you'll find it too difficult, Conquest Capped can help you with that. Link is always in description. Have a nice time!